सो हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन को प्रेसिपिटेशन एज वेल एज द पोस्ट प्रेसिपिटेशन सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बोथ ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो विच आर ए काइंड ऑफ इम्प्यूरिटी इन द प्रेसिपिटेट इन गैविमेट्रिक और गैविमेट्रिक एनालिसिस और गैविमेट्री सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू ओके सो नो लेट एस बिगिन so in case of co-precipitation what happens that the impurity is precipitated along with the main precipitate okay so when the precipitation process is being going on so at the same time only the impurity gets precipitated along with the precipitate which is required so this is in case of our co-precipitation but in post precipitation what happens that from the name only it is clear that post means after okay so this occurs after the main precipitate has been formed so in this what happens that the impurity precipitates on the top of the required precipitate precipitate when it is allowed to stand in the mother liquor okay so after our precipitate for example uh, this is our uh, beaker in which our solution is there so in this solution for example our precipitates are already formed so if these precipitates are allowed to remain in this liquid for a long period of time some other impurity it starts uh, uh, using the precipitating agent and it also forms precipitate and those precipitate get deposited on the main precipitate and this is known as post precipitation okay because the precipitates were already formed but because they were allowed to stand in the liquid for a long period of time that is why an another impurity it got deposited on them and uh, the precipitate became impure okay this is the basic difference between co precipitation and post precipitation and you can remember this just by the name only because co uh, co word usually means together and post means after okay so here it means that the impurity it precipitates together with the main precipitate and post means that the impurity it precipitates after the main precipitate has been formed so i hope the this basic difference is clear to you this is just this is very important the first point is very important because you need to explain that what exactly is happening in co precipitation and in post precipitation uh, now let us move on to the second difference so in case of co precipitation what happens that the extent of contamination it decreases with the time of contact with the mother liquid okay and in case of post uh, uh, precipitation what happens that the extent of contamination it increases with the time of contact with the mother liquid uh, and it is very obvious because just now we said that when the precipitate is allowed to stand in the mother liquid what happens that the other impurities start depo getting deposited on it okay so uh, longer the uh, precipitate is allowed to stand in the mother liquid uh, more are the chances that more amount of impurity will get deposited so more will be the po extent of po uh, post precipitation therefore more will be the extent extent of contamination so i hope this point is also clear to you uh now let us move on to the next point okay it says that the extent of contamination it decreases with faster agitation or by mechanical or thermal means okay so if we agitate our solution uh, fa uh, very fast uh, by any kind of means then the extent of contamination decreases because uh, some kind some uh, impurities which are adsorbed on the surface of the precipitate they get removed by the means of agitation okay so this uh, decreases the uh, contamination Uh, whereas in case of post uh, pre precipitation what happens that the extent of contamination it actually increases with the faster agitation by mechanical or thermal means okay so uh, this is the next difference now let us uh, talk about an example of both of these precipitation in order to understand them better okay so in case of co precipitation uh, we will see the example of mixed crystal contamination mixed crystal contamination is a type of uh, co precipitation we have already talked about this in detail in the previous video uh, you can go and check that out okay so in mixed crystal uh, uh, contamination what happens that uh, from the name only it is clear that mixed crystals are formed or we can say that some iron is being replaced so a uh, mixed crystal contamination in the precipitation of barium as barium sulfate in the presence of lead ions which means that for example uh, if we are precipitating barium as barium sulfate and if in the solution some lead ions are precipitated then it is there are many chances that uh, along with barium sulfate some precipitate of lead sulfate may also be formed okay so this is a example of co precipitation and we have talked about remedy of uh, this uh, Uh, mixed crystal contamination also in that video okay so now let us see the example of post precipitation so the example of post precipitation uh, post precipitation is the precipitation of magnesium oxalate impurity on the precipitate of calcium oxalate when it is allowed to stand in the mother liquid for a long time okay uh, first let me just erase this 
सो वेन एवर वी हैव टू प्रेसिपिटेट कैल्शियम ऑक्सीलेट फ्रॉम ए सोल्यूशन ओके वट हैपन्स दैट कैल्शियम ऑक्सीलेट कैन भी ईजिली सेपरेटेड फ्राम दैट सोल्यूशन बट इफ इट इज़ अलाउड टू स्टैंड इन द मदर लिक्विड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इफ दैट इन दैट सोल्यूशन देर आर मैग्नीशियम आयन्स दैन मैग्नीशियम आयन्स ऑल्सो गेट प्रेसिपिटेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ऑक्सीलेट एंड द गेट डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द कैल्शियम ऑक्सीट प्रेसिपिटेट विच इज़ द रिक्वायर्ड प्रेसिपिटेट ओके सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अवर पोस्ट प्रेसिपिटेशन विच अकर्स आफ्टर द मेन प्रेसिपिटेट हैज बीन फॉर्म सो दिस वॉज ऑल इन दिस वीडियो ओके आई होप यू लाइक दिस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग